Hello everyone. I am Tarun Kausik and today in this lecture we will talk about the simplex method for solving the linear programming. Up to now we have completed the graphical method and uh, the some basic solution we have completed and today we will be taking taking or you can say we will be solving or learning the new concept of simplex method. Okay. So this was the question which was asked in the UPSC mains 2015 examination for the 20 marks. For the 20 marks, you can say very easy question. These were very easy question and uh, it gives a very maximum marks. You can say high marks, high scoring subject. It is mathematics is one of the you can say the 20 marks. This was the question. Solve this LPP by using the simplex method and uh, maximize that 2x1 minus 4x2 plus 5x3 and these two equations are given and these two are, uh, are in the less equality so what we will be adding we will be adding the two stack variables okay so we will be adding the two stack variables s1 and s2 so i'll be speaking very fast please be with me s1 and s2 and the maximum is maximize z this was the maximize z which is given and we just put 0 in, into x1 0 into s1 plus 0 into s2 into the maximum z so it will not create any or it will not make any change now in this simplex method we are required to do the uh, proceed by doing the iteration or by making the tables okay how to create this table and how to solve it very simple you just write the basis how many basis you are adding these two s1 you are adding and s2 you are adding this cb this stands for the coefficient of the basis this is zero this is zero why it is zero because we are adding this this is a zero and this is the zero that's why we have put this value zero here and zero here these two bases are co with coefficient zero and zero and the solution the solution is two and the solution is one just put the value so two and one this is cj coefficient of the is, is, uh, just you can say coefficient cj stands for coefficient of what this 2 minus 4 this is 5 this is 0 this is 0 i just put this value 2 minus 4 5 0 0 and you just put the values of variables x1 x2 x3 x1 s1 and s2 and here you put the ratio which ratio i just forget to point forget to write this this is the minimum ratio m i n i mini minimum i have put this minimum here okay you you just uh, put you can you can solve this or you can uh, complete this table by how 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 to complete this just put the coefficient of x s2 x1 s2 x3 just put the variable uh, coefficient okay the coefficient is 1 4 minus 2 1 s2 is not given then coefficient of s2 is 0 so i just put here 1 minus 4 minus 2 1 0 and just do the same for the next row now put the zj just put the zj equal to 0 0 in the first row in the in, in this row just put 0 0 how to put i will be telling the next uh, in in this in this the second uh, table i will be telling how to calculate this zj you just in the first whenever you are solving the for the first time you just put the this equation put this complete row equal to zero now this is cj this is a capital cj this is the small cj how to calculate this com capital cj this small cj minus zj this 2 minus 0 how, how much you get 0 minus 4 0 minus 4 5 minus 0 you get 5 0 minus 0 you get 0 0 minus 0 you get 0 now in the cj we are required to check the maximum value maximum positive value and the maximum positive value is 5 so this will be the key column okay you just highlight this this key column okay you just highlight this now you are required to calculate the ratio how to calculate the ratio just divide this solution by the corresponding key column the key column is minus 2 if you divide this 2 by minus 2 this is 2 divided by minus 2 you get minus 1 and in the same case when you divide this 1 by this 3 then you will getting then you will get 
1 by 3 and now we are required to here we are required to take most positive value and here most least positive value least positive here the most positive value or you can say more largest positive value and here the smallest positive value and the smallest positive value is 1 by 3 so this will be the incoming vector this sign shows for the incoming vector and this sign shows for the outgoing vector so this will be the this 3 here this 3 will be the key element okay this 3 will be the key element so now we are required to make this the procedure will be same you just understand the procedure after making this key element after just uh, putting after just knowing that this is the key element now we are required to put we are required to make this key element to one we have to make this key element to unity have isko ek banana hai kaise ek bana sakta hu isko is puri row ko mai se bhag kar do if i divide this complete row by dividing by dividing by dividing 3 if i divide by 3 then i will i can get this value as one so how to divide just simple just put the divided by 3 here divided by 3 here divided by 3 in the same form then you will get this this is the 1 by 3 this divided this divided portion I have written here 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 2 by 3 this one I have got this was the key element okay 1 this is 0 this is 1 by 3 now after making this one we are required to make this element as 0 I mean element to 0 banana hai. how to make this 0 we have made this one ये माइनस दो है ये एक है अब मैं इसको जीरो बनाना इसको जीरो कैसे बनाऊंगा यदि मैं इस कंप्लीट जो रो थी मेरी सेकंड रो आर टू इसको यदि मैं दो से गुणा करा के इसके अंदर जोड़ देता हूँ दो एकम दो इन टू टू इंटू टू इंटू वन टू टू एंड माइनस टू इफ वी एड माइनस टू एंड टू वी गेट जीरो सो आई मल्टीप्लाइड दिस इक्वेशन दिस कम्प्लीट रो I just divide this multiply this by टू and वट वट आई गेट आई विल बी गेटिंग दिस रो ओके and after that I just write this equation this this is my R1 which R1 old R1 after this I just uh, add do add these two add these two add these two sorry this is no, not this uh, this two column wise I am adding okay I am adding these two I am adding these two I am adding these two so after that I am getting this 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 complete row I'm getting so I just put this row here 8 by 3 1 by 3 16 by 3 0 1 and so on now again just you can do this and I have replaced this x1 by x3 why I have replaced because take a look this was s2 and this key element corresponding to x3 now this will be striked out here bar chala jayega iski jayega kya jayega iski iski jo score press kar dega x Three. and the coefficient of x3 is the coefficient of x3 is 5 that's why I have put this coefficient here 5 okay now how to calculate this zj I told you that I will be telling about how to calculate this zj in this equation okay now how to calculate if you just multiply this 0 and with this you, you will get 0 and after that you uh, multiply this 5 into minus 1 by 3 you get minus 1 by 3 and you are required to add this and the about uh, you you have to calculate you just do the multiplication between these two value do the multiplication between these two value and now uh, add these two value you will get minus 5 by 3 again 0 into something 0 so upper will be I mean, always 0 because uh, it is 0 0 into something will be always 0 so you just multiply this 5 by this value 1 by 3 this 2 by 3 this is 1 this is 0 this is 1 by 3 just do the multiplication and write this value it here and again just subtract this from this you will get 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 0 0 and this now we are required to calculate the now we are required to consider the value most positive and the most positive is 1 by 3 so this will this will be our key column this will be our key column okay this will be your key column uh, as this is this is our key column then this divided by this 8 by 3 divided by 1 by 3 we will getting the 8 I have written this this is the 8 if we divide this 1 by 3 by minus 1 by 3 we will get minus 1 but we are interested in most or least 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 negative value least 
positive value and the least positive value is 8 so our corresponding key element or key we can say key element will be 1 by 3 this will be our key element after we are making this key element we are required to make this key element as 1 if this is 1 by 3 we are required to make it 1 how to make it just multiply this equation by 3 if you multiply this complete equation by 3 what you get we are solving in the next slide you are uh, here 8 0 sorry 8 1 this we have this we have made it 1 and it's the same way we have made it like this now back to that few slide this is 1 by 3 and this is minus 1 by 3 I have to make this as 0 if I add these two equation if I add these two row then my equation is solved just add these two equation these two equation row 1 and row 2 addition kar do our answer aja aega as ko add kar diya uske baad humara ya aega after that we are required to again solve this because uh, in this case this this is x1 ok I am just uh, removing it this is x1 and this is s1 now this s1 will be striked out and this will be replaced by x1 and here we will be writing x1 after writing x1 we will be making this 0 as 2 because the coefficient of x1 is 2 so we will be writing it 2 as you can see in the next slide this is the 2 and this is the x1 ok now again do the calculation 2 into 1 we are getting this is the 1 this 2 into 1 and 5 into 0 we are getting 2 into 1 2 5 into 0 0 2 plus 0 2 so this will be the 2 again 2 into 16 32 5 into 6 30 30 plus 60 30 plus 62 30 plus uh, 32 62 hence in the same way we will be getting this value of zj ok now just separate this value subtract this value 2 minus 2 0 minus 4 minus 62 minus 66 5 minus 5 0 0 minus 11 minus 11 0 minus 9 minus 9 hence we get all these values of cj are negative there is not a single value which is in the positive हर सारी की सारी वैल्यू नेगेटिव आ जाती है जब कभी भी सारी की सारी वैल्यू सीजे की नेगेटिव आ जाती है तभी हमारा सॉल्यूशन आता आ जाता है व्हिच सॉल्यूशन ऑप्टिमल सॉल्यूशन एंड व्हिच इज आवर ऑप्टिमल सॉल्यूशन दिस x1 इज फॉर 8 एंड x3 इज इक्वल टू 3 दिस x1 इज इक्वल टू 8 एंड x3 इज इक्वल टू 3 बट रेस्ट ऑफ ऑल दीस वेरिएबल्स x1 x2 x2 ऑल दीस वैल्यूज आर जीरो एंड व्हाट वाज मैक्सिमम z मैक्सिमम z इज in the previous question the maximum z was 2 x 1 minus 4 x 2 and 5 x 3 0 uh, plus 5 x 3 and this x 2 was 0 so what was the what, what is what will be the maximum z 2 x 1 plus 5 x 3 this is this is 2 x 1 plus 5 x 3 you just put the value and you will get 31 this will be the maximum z and the, and the in the same question uh, it was asked that how uh, write down its dual dual form so as you can see that in, the, in this question this coefficient 1 for this matrix this 2 by 2 cross 3 matrix this 2 cross 3 matrix 1 4 minus 2 minus 1 2 3 you just write here ok and do the transpose of this t for transpose just do the transpose in the transpose the row becomes column and the column becomes row so this will become in this form so you just put this y1 minus y2 and uh, y1 4 y1 plus 2 y2 minus 2 y1 plus 3 y2 is less than equal to and this will be uh, this will be the from here this will this this coefficient 2 minus 4 5 this we will be writing here 2 minus 4 and 5 okay and the maximum z the right hand side of this this 2 and 1 this will become the maximum of y sorry maximum of z and i made it here 
टू वाई वन प्लस वाई टू एंड आफ्टर एज यू विल प्लॉट दिस ग्राफ दिस द क्वेश्चन वॉज सोल्व दिस एंड शो दैट द मैक्सिमम जेड इज ऑल्सो थर्टी वन एज वी हैव सोल्व दिस मैक्सिमम जेड वॉज इट वॉज थर्टी वन हीयर बाय दैट सिम्प्लेक्स मैथड एंड वैन वी सोल्व वैन वी विल सोल्व वैन वी विल सोल्व दिस बाय ग्राफिकल मैथड graph then by solving this graph you will get this 11 by 9 this, this point of intersection and when you put this 11 comma 9 point in this form you will get 31 and this is the optimal solution okay so this was the um, question asked for the 20 marks in the upsc mains 2015 okay so that's all for this lecture and i will be uh, uploading the lecture for the dual simplex method in the Uh, very uh, in the you can say in the very coming in the very last time i'll be uploading that lecture and that's all for this lecture and please don't forget to like this video if you really like this video and please share this video as much as you can and these lectures are very helpful not only for the upsc but also for your uh, university examination because in engineering mathematics you will be finding in semester examination you will be finding this linear programming this complex analysis chapters are there and these are very beneficial for your university examination too so please do share uh, so that uh, ma maximum of the candidates get benefited and please subscribe to my channel for getting further updates directly that's all for this lecture thank you for watching this video